Hello guys, new Apple Times here, welcome to a new video. An Apple's 30th of October event just finished, I mean, a minutes ago. And right now we're going to do the uh, sum up of everything that Apple introduced at this event. So first up, Apple uh, started talking about the Mac and all the creativity. And New York apparently has a big creative community and that's why the event was held there. So they said they were... Uh, they said some numbers about the Mac and did a quick recap of macOS Mojave and all the new features that it includes. And then started talking about the MacBook Air. This was actually quite surprising for me as they introduced a brand new MacBook Air with Retina display. And these are just some pictures from the typical introduction video that they do. And it has so much, uh, so many new features. Uh, not only the Retina display, but also uh, a more, much better display with thinner bezels that are no longer an aluminum bezels and also has Touch ID and a T2 chip that enables Hey Siri, a third generation butterfly keyboard, a bigger trackpad with fourth touch and two Thunderbolt 3 ports as well as a headphone jack, eighth generation Intel processor which uh, enables 16 gigabytes of RAM or up to 1.5 terabytes of SSD. Also, this is the most environmentally friendly uh, MacBook Air ever and actually Apple created a new aluminum alloy from like uh, recycled um, aluminum from the production line. Uh, that's pretty much the same uh, properties but makes this MacBook Air uh, have 100% recycled aluminum. So yeah, this is just some bits from the video and it also comes in three uh, colors for the first time which are silver, rose gold or gold, I'm not quite sure about that and of course space grey which is great. They are available for ordering today and will be shipping November 7th. And next we jumped to something like futuristic spaceship like and that was the brand new Mac Mini. So we were all waiting for this and wow, does it look stunning in space gray. The baseline is four cores, but it goes up to six. And yeah, also has 32 or 64 gigabytes of RAM and an up to two terabyte SSD. There's also a T2 chip uh, that enables Hey Siri and new thermal system. And as you can see, it comes loaded with ports at the back with Ethernet, some Thunderbolt 3 ports, HDMI, two USB-A, and a headphone jack. So this is very powerful and you can also stack many of them together, or thousands of them together actually, and to get even more, more power. So this new Mac Mini comes in at $799 for 8GB of RAM, 128GB of SSD, and an i3 processor. And this is all that it can go up to. Uh, just like the MacBook Air will be available for order today and available on November 7th. And it's also made of that same aluminum alloy. And then Apple switched from the Mac and went to Apple Retail in where Angela Andrent, or however her surname is pronounced, talked a little bit about today at Apple, saying that they are going to introduce 16 new sessions uh, for things like video, music and photo and also said that they are opening a couple new stores in Bangkok, Thailand and in Paris in France. And then what we were also most excited about were the new iPads and the new iPad Pro and wow were they awesome. Uh, first some numbers as usual and yeah a little recap of the iPad lineup and then the video that introduced the new uh, iPad Pros and this is it, it looks gorgeous and it's even more gorgeous and yeah also new Apple Pencil, new Smart Keyboard, we'll talk about that later but so to begin with it's got an LCD, rounded corners just like the iPhone XR and it's also called Liquid Retina uh, the 11 inch display is the same size as the 10.5 uh, inch iPad Pro and the 12.9 inch has uh, remained the same display but it's now way smaller. 
In fact, it's similar to uh, an American uh, standard piece of paper, 8.5 by 11, and it's 1 millimeter thinner. We also have Face ID, just like in the iPhone 10 and 10R and 10S, and the new neural engine that allows you to do many things, and also because it doesn't have home button, it has all the same gestures as the iPhone 10. So the it comes with an A12X bionic chip that's seven nanometers and delivers huge numbers. And yeah, eight core CPU, seven core GPU, um, incredible performance, and offers all day battery life and up to one terabyte of storage, <laughs> which is insane in an iPad. It also has USB C for charging and also for connecting to 5K displays, cameras and now you can even charge your iPhone from your iPad on the go which is incredible of course using the USB-C to lightning cable now the new Apple Pencil is gorgeous as well it's like this, way thinner as you can see it doesn't have the removable uh, tab at the back that's because it pairs automatically, magnetically you can attach it on the magnets of the iPad and it will pair and charge wirelessly which means that it will always have the same charge 100% uh, when you're going to use it. The new smart keyboard is now called Smart Keyboard Folio and covers uh, the front and the back as well as having two angles to use it so you can pose it in this angle or you can pose it on a more vertical one. So this new iPad Pro is great for AR and yeah, has a lot of new features. I really love it. It's pretty perfect. It now comes with an 18 watt power adapter in box, which is good. I wish we got that in the iPhone XS as well. And yeah, this is like the perfect combo with the Apple Pencil on the top using magnets and the keyboard. It's pretty great. And yeah, these are some maps. They also talked about some maps like uh, Desktop AutoCAD or Assassin's Creed uh, Rebellion. Yeah, that's a new game that runs at 120 frames per second. DJ Pro. And then they had a couple demos of 2K games showcasing NBA 2K. And I mean, look at the details in the player. They're gorgeous. And as well as Adobe that showcased Photoshop for iPad with some awesome gestures taking advantage of the touch screen and the new Apple Pencil 2, we'll call it. And then Project Arrow, that's a tool for creating AR and it's awesome because the, she edited that same PSD before and now put it here and all the layers like had uh, depth of field and she was able to animate some of the butterflies just with one tap and that was awesome. So again, this video, it's again really light iPad, uh, again the same recycled aluminum and a lot of magnets that enable everything such as this, like placing your Apple Pencil on the iPad. And it comes in 64, 256, 512 and 1 terabyte options of storage, the 11 inch is starting at uh, 799 and the 12.9 inch is starting at 999. Again, just like everything before, it's able for pre-order today and will be shipping November 7th. And lastly, Tim Cook announced that iOS 12.1 is launching today, so get your devices ready for update. And uh, there was a small performance by Lionel Ray. So this was really everything about the Apple event that just finished. I really loved it. It was great. The New York uh, crowd was great as well, so supportive. And yeah, they introduced so many things. My favorite has to be by far the iPad. It looks just stunning and made me regret having bought the 10.5 inch iPad last year, even though I, I have really, really enjoyed it. Don't get me wrong. But yeah, this is everything I want to show you in this video. If you're curious about anything or anything about uh, about anything of the new products, I will have a separate video for each and every one of them. You can view them down below in the description. If you are not seeing them, they will be available soon. 
So thank you very much for watching again. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and to subscribe down below for more Apple related content coming every week. And also to join my Telegram community group so we can talk and discuss about all the new things Apple just introduced. So yeah, thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.